What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Kem Kem17 bringing you another Call of Duty World War 2 video. If you guys haven't seen my reaction video to the trailer, definitely go check that out. I uploaded that a few minutes ago. But we're going to be talking about some of the information that we got from the live stream that literally just went down. It's ended now, but it was definitely useful. We got a ton of information, mainly about campaign but some on multiplayer and zombies. Not too much because that reveal is going to be at E3 in June, which I cannot wait for because that's why I'm looking forward to the most multiplayer. And I believe that in this game, it's going to be insane. But anyway, we got a few guns that have been confirmed from the live stream that will be in the game. So we're going to name them, take a look at them. I'm going to put pictures of them up on the screen for you guys. And uh, we're just going to see what guns we've got so far. So obviously, number one, we got the M1 Grand. Now this gun, I believe it is in Infinite Warfare uh, as like one of those uh, classic weapons, but we're going to be able to see it in this Call of Duty as well, so I can't wait for that. We've also got the MG42. Now I've never seen this gun, I'm not sure if it was in a previous Call of Duty, I may be wrong, but we're going to take a look at it right now. I'll put a picture up on the screen for you guys. Next we got the STG44. Now I believe that this was in Advanced Warfare, I'm not too sure, but I definitely remember seeing that, so I believe that one was from Advanced Warfare. We got the Grease Gun, i got no idea what this is, I'm going to try to find a picture for you guys, if not then I'm not sure, we just wait and see. And that was pretty much it from the confirmed guns, it just says, and well, I'm looking on Charlie Inter for this because he was tweeting out or they were tweeting out a bunch of stuff while the live stream was going on which was very useful we're going to be playing in the campaign as private red daniels that's going to be the character that we play as at the main character campaign i'm not sure if we're going to switch between and see like you know the story from different people's perspective that could be a possibility but i'm not too sure right now so for this next part if you guys play destiny you know what this is so for a lot of people that don't i'm going to try to explain it it's basically an area of uh, the game where you all just come together you're all chilling out you're not really playing a mission or a multiplayer or zombies you're literally just chilling out relaxing and uh, it's basically like a community area like a courtyard kind of thing for everyone to show off what equipment they've got what guns they've got and uh, what probably levels you are on it might show that above your head and we got the first look at that it's called headquarters in or hq in uh in the call of duty world war 2 it's basically just a massive open area of like i said for you guys to chill out and show off your character and your levels and stuff and probably meet new people i'm i'm pretty sure you'll be able to do that and like talk to everyone i'm not sure if it's gonna be one open like talk chat i don't think that's gonna be the case because that would be imagine thousands of people just all chilling in there that'd be way too much to like comprehend but maybe if you're in like a close vicinity of the person you may be able to talk to them over your playstation or xbox or whatever you're playing on that'd be a pretty cool idea because that'd be definitely a good way to meet new people and i cannot wait for that of what it's gonna look like next we have got the preview of zombies now this was just brought to us in a picture form there was literally zero information that he brought out about it but it basically you know just confirms that the third game mode within call of duty world war 2 will be some kind of nazi zombies and from the picture this looks insane just look at the detail of the zombie on your screen right now and tell me that they have not put so much work and effort into the detail it looks crazy i definitely cannot wait to play that because the last call of duties they've been trying to do zombies as well sledgehammer did do some uh, exo zombies in advanced warfare it wasn't really too good it was nothing compared to you no know, trail zombies as we all know and love but it was okay infinity ward zombies i don't think i've even played a single game of it i'm not it just doesn't appeal to me i just love the normal zombies no exo movements or it being on space or none of that crap I just love like trenches and you know how zombies normally feels. It got away with Black Ops 3 because it was Black Ops 3 and it, it was Treyarch and they always kill zombies and in Black Ops 3 it wasn't that futuristic with no jetpacking zombies but this looks, I'm definitely going to play this. This will probably be the first zombies that's not from Treyarch that I'm going to enjoy and absolutely love playing and play as much as Treyarch zombies. It looks sick and I cannot wait to give that a go. So if you guys do not know already that the pre-orders have gone live, if you want to go out and pre-order your copy of Infinite Warfare, go to Amazon, go onto your PlayStation, your Xbox, or any other retailer like game or whatever you've got in your area, and you can now officially pre-order the game. I believe you've pre-ordered the game as well on certain retailers. You're going to get a code for the beta. If not, they might distribute it like a little bit later down the line. Just keep checking your emails and stuff like that for your beta code. But I believe some places like game or on your PS4, you do get the code straight away. But don't quote me on that because I am not sure. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the information we've got. We did get a few extras, but it wasn't too major. 
uh but let me know down in the comment section like i always say are you guys excited for this game are you gonna buy it or you're not sure yet you're gonna wait for the multiplayer field to see what multiplayer is like and then you'll buy the game i'm super excited for this like i haven't been this excited for call of duty in a while fingers crossed it is a good game and it lives up to the hype because there's a lot of hype behind this game and it will kind of suck if uh, if it did fail and it wasn't as good as we all thought come the beta but that will be a beta and it will improve it from then but hopefully this game does live up to its hype but anyway it's been your boy cam 17 thank you for watching my video you guys have been smashing it lately with the support and i cannot thank you enough with this game i'm gonna try to grow as much as possible and put all my effort into it and yeah so it's gonna be a good 2000 end of 2017 and 2018 i can't wait for it bring on call of duty world war 2 and i shall see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and peace.